you guys need this? No, no, not that one. Yeah. Oh. Mm. We need it there. Yeah. You need it. You need it. Yeah. We need that one. Right there, right, guys? Yeah. Um, Do you want me to repeat the questions? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nick Gallo, PCFoto.com. Um, Mark, just you mix and match defenses throughout the night. Um, just curious about kind of what you saw and, and whether um, there were times where you were able to get their passing game out of it um, by switching and, and kind of what you liked. Yeah, I mean, the switching was just kind of plan B for us. I mean, we have a plan against them that usually we can rely on a lot more than we could in the first half of that game. Uh, and the switching was just like a, a curveball, you know, because they were handling our primary coverage tonight so well, uh, it just didn't feel sustainable. So we put some switchable lineups out there, uh, just tried to change the game up a little bit. It was effective in the third. It was relatively effective in the fourth. Um, but, you know, we needed to be a lot better, obviously, in the second quarter. What did you think of, I mean, obviously they came out, they threw a pretty big punch, went up 12-0, and then you guys were able to kind of neutralize that, get back in the game. They just start shooting the ball really well from three in the second quarter. What did you think about the way you guys were able to weather the storms throughout the game? I mean, it's a 48-minute game, and there's going to be a lot of ups and downs, and uh, we've learned that. So, you know, we just keep playing, and, you know, I give our guys credit for that. But, um, you know, the other thing is, like, any – any stretch of the game can beat you, you know, and um, we just couldn't stop the bleeding in the second quarter enough to keep it reined in. I mean, we won the first by seven points. We won the third by seven points, uh, and we tied them in the fourth, you know, so the difference in the game by a huge margin was the second quarter, and it was really every unit, you know, it was like the whole quarter is an onslaught. Speaking of that fourth quarter, just Shea's effort down the stretch, obviously a pretty big scoring night for him, but for him to get the, that big steal late and just kind of keep chipping away there with the clock winding down, just can you speak on that effort there by him? Yeah, and I thought he gave good effort tonight uh, defensively, and I thought um, just in the floor game. I mean, he was on the gas. He had a lot of pop tonight. I thought the scoring reflected that. I thought his speed tonight, uh, they, they had the same game plan as everybody else, but I thought uh, he was faster, we were faster. I thought that's what got him his cracks. They, they attempted 54 threes, which I, I know that's how they like to play, but it's the most you guys have allowed all season. What do you think about the looks that you did give up and, I, you know, the balance of three-point defense and just their shot making? Yeah, I mean, uh, I thought the first quarter um, they missed a lot of good ones. You know, the quality of those shots were pretty good, uh, and they just missed them, especially early. Uh, second quarter, the quality I thought was pretty high. I'll have to look at it, but I thought they were getting really good looks, and that's not sustainable. You know, you can't really control how many threes a team wants to bomb against you, but um, the contestedness of those, you know, is the difference. And I thought in the second half we ran that in. I mean, some of them, you know, they banged a shot in off the glass at the end of the quarter. You know, some of those obviously you live with, but um, that's why you want to be really stingy in the game because luck comes into play and then shot making comes into play. I thought Doncic closed really well tonight with his shot making. Um, but, you know, that's not what beat us. What beat us was the easier ones they got probably earlier in the game, and that's what had us playing from behind. Clark, some of your players have just talked about uh, what they've gotten out of this long, extended road trip. Just from your perspective, as you kind of look at the, the five games in totality, what do you think uh, you guys got out of this? Yeah, I mean, it's five uh, road games against quality teams. You know, every single one of these games has been really, really hard to win. Uh, I think our competitive level in uh, minute for minute in these games has been pretty good. Um, and that's what we want to do. You know, we want to be a team that competes and plays together every night and, you know, see where that takes us. And I think uh, we've done a pretty good job of that, you know, not only on this trip, but all season. It's a good foundation to build on. Now we've got to just continue to improve uh, fundamentally and execution wise and um, keep chipping away. They had 22 threes. Was that more of the way, a cause of? effect, I guess, of how you guys defended Luca. Um, yeah, I mean, they're a team that's high volume. I mean, he puts a lot of pressure on you um, with his playmaking. Um, and so he generates three. I mean, that's why he's a great player, because he scores and he also generates really high quality looks for his teammates. That's a great offensive player in a nutshell. And um, um, so you're not going to, like, take them away. But the contestedness, it's almost like you got to make them rely on it and make them rely on contested threes and I thought um, the rhythm they were able to get with between Doncic at the line in the first half offensive rebounds uh, open threes that's where you know we had to be better uh, in that part of the game and I thought we got that course corrected in the second half and they don't really like playing in the paint think they're 
28th and 29th uh, in paint points. How tough is that to coach against when a team is trying to just get a lot of threes? Yeah, I mean, they're tough to coach against because they're a good team. He's a great player, obviously. Um, but like I said, you know, you're not going to, you're never going to take, especially in the modern NBA, you're not going to take threes away, um, nor do you really want to, I, I would argue. Uh, but it's more about the quality, you know, who's shooting them and how contested are they. And uh, I thought, like I said tonight, it was a mixed bag. You know, I thought there were some that we did a really good job on and there were plenty that, um, you know, they were way too high a quality and, and didn't give us the best chance there. Mark, Jalen leads you in minutes now with 38. It seems like minute by minute, game by game, he keeps hitting a little bit better. Long ways to go, but you're starting to see progress. Yeah, I mean, he's made a lot of progress, obviously. If you if you even zoom out and look at since the beginning of the season, you know, preseason, I just think fundamentally, defensively, you know, things are slowing down for him. He had some really loud mistakes early in the year that he's really cleaned up. Um, and then offensively, I just think he continues to play in a good rhythm. And I thought tonight he had a nice balance of his attacks and also playing, you know, team basketball, which I think is a strength of his, you know, long term for him as a player. So uh, he just continues to, to chip away. He's, he's on a really, really good track right now developmentally.